Welcome back. Problem 6-103. So statement is if overhanging beam is made up of wood having allowable tensile stress and compressive stress of 4 MPa and 5 MPa, determine the maximum concentrated force that can be applied at the free end. So you can see this is overhanging beam with a P load at the free end is given as the cross section of the beam is shown over here clear. The allowable compressive uh, tensile stress for this wood beam is 4 MPa while allowable compressive stress is 5 MPa. So you have to find this P. So let's start with the solution. As we know that stress, maximum stress is equal to maximum bending moment into C divided by I. So what we do is that we will get the maximum bending moment from maximum bending moment we will get the value of p and we will insert in this so first step is that if you uh, remove this reaction support at point a and point b that we have discussed in problem 6.102 so you have this reaction force is rb and here you will be having a reaction force which is ra so we will find this sum of all moment about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a the moment r b into two and that is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write two r b minus p into perpendicular distance is three is equal to zero so it means that uh, 2 R B is equal to 3 P here and uh, we have R B comes out to be 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5 P okay <coughs> now uh, we can find uh, R A by using the another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces in long y direction must be equal to zero and what force is positive. So minus R A plus R B minus P is equal to zero. So minus R A plus R B which is 1.5 time P minus P is equal to zero. So from here you will get R A is equal to 0 0.5 times P. Now you have both R A and R B. You can find you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So you have to draw vertical line from the end of the beam, and then there is a horizontal line in order to show the length x in meter. Here we will draw the shear force in, and uh, you can see I will choose another color. Mm, at let each division of this is equal to 0 0.5 p so this is minus 0 0.5 p this will be equal to p similarly this is 0 0.5 p this is 1 p this is 1.5 times p so at point uh, a you can see you have R A which is 0 0.5 P and that is downward. So our first point will be this one. Now moving from R A till point B there is no other force. So shear force will remain same till this end. This is 2 meter length. Okay so it will remain same over this. Now at point B we have R B which is equal to 1.5. So minus 0 0.5 plus 1.5 will uh, give you one okay so minus 0 0.5 plus will give you one so it will go to this point okay this is p now from b to p there is no other force so it will remain same and at end you can see there is minus p so it will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram by using this shear force so again you can see that you have to draw a horizontal line x in meter you have movement clear let each division is equal to 0 0.5 uh, 0.5 p and here this is 1 p 
minus this is downward so it will be minus now first area under the uh, shear force diagram is this 2 into 0 0.5 and this area is minus so it will be equal to minus uh, 0 0.5 p this is 0 0.5 p so it will be equal to uh, minus p this is p so first point at which we have moment you can see that this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree slope so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing because this area is negative so this is minus p so you you have to draw a straight line okay now the other area is this area and this area is equal to p into 1 which is equal to plus p so minus p plus p will bring it to 0 at this end so we will get the bending moment like this okay now from bending moment diagram you will get maximum absolute value of bending moments will be equal to minus p and that will be equal to p clear so now you have this p this is the cross section of the beam i will bring it to upward position and then we will make it a bigger so that now you can see that uh, you have maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment absolute into c divided by i so we do not know the i for this beam so for that uh, since this is unsymmetrical so we do not know the uh, centroidal axis of this cross section so for that we need first we need the uh, centroidal axis the neutral axis I will write it the neutral axis passes through centroid C of cross section as shown in this figure. Okay, so how we will find it? So for that, we have y bar is equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area now you can see we have two one one and two clear so if you take this bottom side as a reference so first area is this one i will choose black color this one they are these are two so i will write two times its area its area is 25 by 25 by 200 so we will convert into meters so 0 0.025 into 0 0.2 and its uh, distance from this base till its centroid are centered this let this is y1 dash and this y1 dash is equal to 200 divided by 2 which is 100 millimeter and in meter it is equal to 0 0.1 double 0 plus now we have this second one so it, its area is 0 0.150 this multiply by this we have to convert it into into meter so it will be this and it's centroidal from the base will be this one this will be equal to y2 bar and that is you can see that this distance is 12.5 so this distance will be equal to 12.2.5 millimeter so in meter it will be equal to 0 0.2125 clear divide by sum of area so first area is 2 times 0 0.025 multiply by 0 0.2 plus 
सेकेंड एरिया इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव जीरो मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव सो अगेन वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट वाई बार विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन थ्री जीरो सिक्स एट मीटर सो इट मीन्स दैट यूर न्यूट्रल एक्सेज विल बी एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन थर्टी मिली मीटर फ्राम द बॉटम सो दिस इज बेसिकली यूर वाई बार दिस इज यूर न्यूट्रल एक्सेज and this y bar is equal to in meter i will write in millimeter it is 130.68 mm while in meter it is y bar is equal to 0.13068 meter now we will calculate the moment of inertia i by using parallel axis theorem and that is equal to sum of i bar plus ad square so i will write for the first one one so there these are there are two this one and this one so two times 1 over 12 breadth is 0.025 meter and height is 0.2 meter cube plus ad square so area is again 0.025 into 0.2 and d square now what is d so d is a uh, distance of from neutral axis to the centroid of this part this is d and this can be obtained by using y bar minus y1 dash so y bar is 0.13613068 minus y1 is 0.1 okay 0.1 whole square plus the moment of inertia for this two so 1 over 12 its breadth is 150 mm so in meter it is 0.150 and height is 0.025 whole cube plus area 0.150 into 0.025 and what about d square so d square will be this distance you can see this distance this is d2 and this distance can be obtained if you subtract uh this y dash from this value so i will write it 0.2125 minus 0.13068 so when you solve this you will get this i will comes out to be 68.0457 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 now we have been given uh as allowable stress in uh tension that is given as let me check 4 mega pascal and the compression one is 5 mega pascal so 4 mega pascal and we know that uh, allowable stress in compression is equal to maximum bending moment into y divided by i okay so due to this loading definitely the beam will uh the beam will bend like this and due to p load so upper portion is in tension and lower portion is in compression so we have this 4 mega pascal 4 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal and maximum bending moment is given as p so i will write p and what about y y y is distance from neutral axis till top so this distance can be obtained if you subtract this total distance which is uh 225 minus this distance will give you this y which is equal to 225 mm minus 130.68 mm and that will give you i will write mm and that will give you uh, this y will be i will write it over here this y will be equal to 0.225 in meter minus 0.13068 divided by i 68.0457 into 10 to the power minus 6 
so again when you calculate for p you will get p is equal to 288.2885.79 newton r p is equal to 2.89 kilo newton so this is for the tensile stress now for compression stress we know that sigma allowable our maximum stress due to compression that was 5 megapascal and that is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so maximum bending moment is 5 and uh, p and 5 into 10 to the power 6 now c is the maximum distance from neutral axis to the bottom surface and that is again equal to 0 0.1306 so 0 0.101306.8 divided by i which is 68.04547 into 10 to the power minus 6. So when you solve this you will get p is equal to 2603.49 newton r your p is equal to 2.60 kilo newton. So now you can see due to tension you will need P is equal to 2.89 but in compression it is 2.60 so you have to choose the lowest one P is equal to 2.60 kilo newton because uh, this value will satisfy the tension but if you put it in compression it will be greater than allowable but if you take this value this is satisfying sigma allowable compression but if you put it in this so you will your sigma will be less than sigma allowable so answer is p is equal to 2.60 kilo newton so this was all about uh, problem 6-103 i hope you have enjoyed this video and this video uh, is somewhat related to problem 6-102 um, those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you